Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Uh, in the last video, we tried to enter a bunch of 2D segments, including the one that needed doing in the Mushroom Kingdom, to no avail. I have a hunch that something might have changed in the system update to um, switch firmware 8.0. Uh, I don't know why that would be the case, but that's all I can think of. Um, we will be coming back to have another look to see if that's possible. Uh, if it's not, I may end up changing the rules a little bit, uh, because it used to be possible. And Nintendo changing the rules on us means I'm going to change my rules to compensate. <laughs> uh, but for now, we've come to the dark side of the moon here, uh, Rabbit Ridge. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff to do here, but the first thing to do... Uh, which basically gates everything else in the kingdom for some reason, is we have to do the one story moon here. And to get that story moon, we need to make our way over... ...to that big carrot there. See, it's carrot, it's got the top part. Because it's Rabbit Ridge, get it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we use this power line to get over there. Inside there, there will be a boss rush we have to get through. Uh, basically, we have to fight all the Brutals in one set of health, and if we die, we walk back to this spot where we are now. There is a life up part we can get here. Uh, Cappy! I put in Cappy there. Uh, so we'll be grabbing that. Uh, I may use an amiibo to heal up between fights if it proves too tricky, uh, just because I think this part of the game is pretty annoying, and I want to get to the like meat of the dark side, which is the stuff you get to after you've done this. So, uh, the first fight we have to face is against uh, the guy with the hats. That's all of them. The green one, Topper. So yeah, we have to defeat this guy first. Um, he's harder than before. Uh, I've already taken damage, which is not good. Uh, uh, however, we have low gravity for all of these fights because we're on the moon, which makes some things a little easier. Uh, it'll probably make the Harriet fight harder, actually, because it's harder to hit her bombs when we have to jump in the low gravity. Uh, but the other fights should be not too much difficulty. Hopefully. But yeah, you have to hit Topper a whole bunch of times to knock off all of his hats because he's wearing so many. Uh, which is very annoying. And it's blocking him on the head, there we go. Okay, so I took a hit already because I'm bad at video games. Uh, but apart from that, we're doing okay. Basically, here you just want to get off the ground as quickly as possible. Uh, since then the hats can't get you because you're off the ground. Uh, the difficult part about his spinning attack isn't the spin, it's the first flop down, because that's much harder to dodge. The spinning part you can jump over, but the first flop will hit you if you're, jump if you're jumping towards him, which you've got to be careful, careful about. Anyway, top of beaten. I took one hit. Um, that's okay. If you take one hit in each boss battle, you should be alright, but... Uh, I could have done better. <laughs> uh, next up is Harriet. <clears throat> uh, Harriet is pretty hard. Uh, especially... Between the low gravity and the fact that we have to jump to throw Cappy, we're gonna have some problems. Um, all of the boss battles here, she's probably the most difficult, I would say. So yeah, you just do this, a couple of floors of the tower, you fight a Brutal on each floor, you get the idea. It's a boss rush. 
And if you die, you get walked back out of the tower and you have to do them all again. Well, of course you live on the moon, you're rabbits. Where else would you live? <laughs> Okay, that's better than I thought it would be. Um, that's one bop already. ones this time, I guess. You can pretty much always hit the little ones back at her, but because we have to jump, it's quite difficult. We're doing fine, actually. Uh, I thought this would be a lot harder. I must have gotten good at the game or something. <laughs> nah, that's impossible. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep dodging and just wait for the big ones. There we go. Ah, damn it. So that's Harriet defeated. I took no damage, which is really impressive. I usually take a hit against that fight because it's hard, but I did okay. Uh, next up is Spewart, I think. Uh, if I take a hit against this, that'll just be really embarrassing because Spewart is extremely easy, especially in low gravity. <laughs> um, as you can see, yeah, there's no hearts during this, uh, so if you do take a hit, you can't heal back up. Uh, there is one heart during the boss rush, uh, but it's just a regular heart, not a life up heart. Uh, so it's not that helpful. And there's only one. So yeah, spew it next, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. You're standing on an airship. You already have one. You, you don't. You don't need the Odyssey. You already have an airship, <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Um. I'm expecting him not to be very difficult because a single backflip is enough to do that. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually interrupt this segment. Maybe if you jumped on his hat perfectly, you, you could, but... Uh, because of the low gravity, it's kind of tricky. Oh, seriously? Oh, that's embarrassing. His hitbox is a little weird, but it's not too hard. You can deflect him with by throwing Cappy, so that's that's handy to get him away from you, but just jumping is good enough because of the way you jump so high in the low gravity. He moves a little bit when you bop his hat off with the first jump, so you have to watch out for that. But he's not too hard. I'm embarrassed I took a hit against this battle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so next up is Rango, who is also quite easy. Uh, not quite as easy as Spewit, so I may take another hit, uh, which will get us down to the regular three hearts rather than six, but that's okay. Uh, just want to climb my way up here. Even though it's curved, you can roll here without a problem. You just sort of get pushed along by the wall instead of bonking, so... All right, so Rango. Oh, well, I'm sorry. So yeah, this fight, he throws some more hats than normal, I think, but it's basically the same as usual. Just gotta hit one of them to turn them into a bouncy platform, then you can bump them on the head. Not too tricky. Uh, this part, I think you can jump on his head again to 
Get him to continue? Yeah. Cool. Because of low gravity, that's pretty easy to do. Uh... Bump. That's that's two hits. We're going well. We're going well. Uh, so now he starts bouncing around again. You can deflect him away with Cappy like that, which is handy. There we go. Okay. So yeah, this fight very easy as you can see. Uh, the crouch button just came undone, so I'm just going to pause for a second. Uh, it's okay. It didn't affect the gameplay in any way, but there we go. So that's uh, Frango beaten. That's the four Brutals. There's one more fight here, however, uh, which we will be seeing shortly. This is going a lot better than I expected, actually. I was sure I would die against, like, to like Topper at least once and Harry it a couple times. Okay, so we head up to this bit. Uh, this is where the one heart during the run is. In this tunnel here, uh, there is a heart about halfway up. Here. Just a regular heart, uh, but it's good to have. Just to heal up a little, heal up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so there's one more boss to fight, and we're not at full health. Thankfully, you can only do this once, but if you come over here, Captain Toad is actually here, and there's a moon you can get. This is, I believe, the only moon you can get before you've done the story in this area. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! And of course, getting a moon heals you to full health, so it's useful to do that, but you can only get a moon from Captain Toad once. It doesn't show up as like a ghost moon or whatever afterwards, so you only get one turn of that. But we did it, um, so we go through this pipe here to do the final boss fight. Fortunately, it's not a 2D pipe or anything, it just takes you to the roof. And the Mecha Brutal is back! <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of the Mecha Brutal. <laughs> so this fight is actually different. Um, there are no Pokios this time. Instead, there are Hammer Bros. Uh, instead of the Pokios. I don't know if you can get up there without without using a Hammer Bro. I'm gonna see, see how, how I can manage it. Uh, although, I don't want to waste too much health here. Maybe. I don't want to take too many hits, so I'm just going to grab a hammer bro. Uh, so yeah, rather than fighting using Pokio, you use these hammer bros instead. Uh, which can't deflect the bombs. But you can actually just hurt the legs here with the hammers, so there's no problem, basically. Uh, you break a leg like that. You gotta hit some more, yeah. Uh, and then it topples over, which gets you enough height to hit the guy on the top there. Uh, by jumping up the leg. Or getting stuck, you know, whatever you want to do is fine. Ah, oh, god. <laughs> Hammer Bro jump physics are weird. Uh, this is not going as well as I anticipated. Um, this fight is usually pretty easy. Uh, Compared to the boss rush beforehand, it's usually harder, but it seems to be a bit different this time around. So yeah, this, this boss is very different to the original version because, you know, you're using Hammer Bros instead of Apokio for some reason. I don't know why they changed that. The Apokio based fight was really good, so I don't know. There we go, just break a leg, it'll fall down, and you can climb up on top. That's two out of four Brutals. Deal with. Uh, then it gets the invulnerable legs thing happening. Ah! Freaking gravity. I don't think there's any health pickups during this part, which is a little annoying. If I get down to one health, I'm gonna try to use my Amiibo. I'm just a little concerned that I won't be able to do it quick enough. Uh, there we go. Oh, I think breaking these might actually give you health pickups. Maybe. I'm not sure. 
Phone Cappy just deflects them, it doesn't break him, so... It doesn't look like it. I think in the original fight, those did give you health, but they don't in this one. It's kind of, sort of, like a Daredevil Comet in the original, in Galaxy, where, like, no, no coins show up because you can't heal. Um, although, you know, Daredevil Run forces you to have one health instead of six, so... Not quite the same. Okay, that's Brave Brutal's down. I'm gonna use this me, but I'm just a little scared. Yes, it is. That means I'm gonna have to fix the crouching. So your amiibo don't work very well, <laughs> since it keeps thinking my Peach amiibo is not an amiibo when I'm trying to use it, so that's a bit annoying. Okay, that guy broke that leg. Uh, we'll pull this way so that we can reach the correct Brutal. There we go, just pop up here. Easy peasy. Alright, so that is the whole boss rush done. It took me a lot less time than I expected, so I might do a little more stuff in this video. Or I might just make this be the boss rush and then do another video for some of the other stuff. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. So that's the one story moon for this kingdom. Uh, we now have it. Uh, if we just head off to the... That'll warp us back to the Odyssey, like most multi-moons. Uh, we get warped back when we're done. As you can see, we now have a different outfit. Uh, you receive the king's outfit for getting that particular moon for some reason. I don't know why, um, but that's how you get it. You can't buy it, you have to get it that way. Uh, it consists of a gigantic crown, just bigger than Mario's head, and this, uh, this nice cape here. However, monarchy is bad, so I'm gonna change outfits. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go with the sunshine outfit, I think. It just feels appropriate. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, this outfit is from the end of Super Mario Sunshine. I believe when you have all the shines, you can unlock this shirt and these sunglasses. Uh, unlike in Sunshine, the sunglasses have no effect. In that game, they actually dim the screen a bit when you wore them. Uh, but here is just an outfit, which is a cute reference. Alright, so now if we look around, we can see Rabbit Ridge is quite a bit different. There's lots of toads all over the place. Uh, and there's also a bunch of rooms that are now open. Uh, for example, there's one down there. You can see it's a capless sub-area, so I'm not going to go in there just yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you what else there is to do here, uh, which is a bunch of stuff. If we zap our way down here, you can see already that there's a moon rock pipe there. This is another sub-area. Uh, there's a bunch of toads around. Basically the whole toad brigade is here now. Also there's the hint toad. Uh, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of hint arts here. There are actually ten. Which is the most hint arts in the game. There are ten scattered all around this area. So we're going to have to find all of them and make sure we get all of these. They should all be doable. This one baffled me for a long time, but I think I understand it now. Uh, I managed to like find the moon without understanding why it was there. And then I was like, oh, I get it now. Uh, so yeah, there's ten of them. That's three. We just want to... We don't actually need to take the captures. I know where to go, but... Uh, I'm taking the captures anyway, just to keep track of which ones we've looked at, basically. Uh, here's the fourth one. These are scattered pretty much all over the game. As you can see, that's the, definitely the Cascade Kingdom. Uh, we saw one that was in Peach's Castle. We saw another one uh, that was in the Cloud Kingdom. This one's in the Metro Kingdom. That's five, I think. Uh, 
so yeah, there's ten hint arts scattered around, so we're gonna be looking at them all. This one's from Mount Bobono. It's pretty obvious. Uh there's a toad down there. Uh, that toad basically just tells you you can go fight the Brutals again if you want. There's no reason to do it. Um, you don't get another moon or anything, but you can just redo that fight if you want. This one's in Crumbledon. And that's, uh, seven, I think? Uh, you can see there's another sub-area down there, which we'll be going to in a bit. Eight. I may have lost count. <laughs> and down here, there's two more. I think. No, there's one, there's one down here, but there's two areas down here. Uh, let me think. I usually miss at least one of them and get real confused. So it's possible I've done that again. Uh, another cute detail in this area, if you come over here, uh, you can now see on this, this, uh, big pumpkin that there's a little pixely Rosalina there. I believe she's the only one in the game. Uh, you can throw your hat at her and get some coins, but nothing special. Uh, I think... I think we've been to where all the hint arts are. Um, let me just check the album and see if we got them all. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I did miss one, because that one is from earlier in the game, and I haven't been deleting them. Hmm... Got to recrouch because I went to the home menu. There we go. So yeah, we have six sub areas here. Three of them I entered through pipes, and those three are pretty easy. Ah, there's the last hint art. Uh, and the other three are capless areas, and they're very hard. So first we're gonna go to the three pipes because you know they're easy. Uh, basically, the deal with the three pipe areas. Well, basically, did with all the sub areas here. We've seen them before. Uh, they were in previous kingdoms, but they've been remixed a little bit. So if we come in here and look in this pipe, you can see that this area, we went here before in the Metro Kingdom, but now there's a bunch of fruit and a Yoshi here. Uh, so basically you have three sub-areas where you have Yoshi and you have to get all the fruit, uh, which is kind of sort of like a purple comet, in that you're going through an area and collecting some stuff that wasn't there before, uh, and getting rewards for it. Kind of. Uh, and then you have the three uh, capless areas, which were also visited earlier in the game, and now you have to do them without Cappy, which makes them significantly harder. Uh, so that's kind of sort of like a comet as well, but there isn't really one in Galaxy that is able to spin or anything like that, which would be the closest analog. Uh, this is really easy, I'm only messing it up because I'm, you know, not paying too much attention. Uh, But yeah, you just got to eat all the fruit. I believe there's two moons you can get by eating the fruit in these these areas. Uh, you can capture the tanks if you want, but there's not really a reason to. You actually can just get around with the flutter jump and stuff, instead of using the tanks at all. So that's one moon, there we go. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! Uh, but there's more fruit here, because you can actually get two moons in here by eating all of the fruits. Oops. I uh, accidentally uncrouched. It's pretty much useless to uncapture from Yoshi, because you can only eat the fruit if you are a Yoshi. Uh, and the only reason to go anywhere in this version of the kingdom is to get fruits. So you basically just have to go back to where Yoshi is and... Become Yoshi again. There we go. You, you can get pretty much everywhere without Yoshi. Um, it's not hard to navigate the kingdom as plain old Mario. In the sub area, not really a kingdom. Uh, but... Yoshi can do stuff too, so, you know, whatever. Oops. <laughs> That's probably easier if you knock down this wall, because those two fruits will come come down with it. Like the, um... I think one of the moon shards does that in the original version of the level. Uh, pounding that spot on the ground that's sparkling is completely pointless, it's just coins. Uh, yeah, you can't actually hurt the tanks in any way when you're Yoshi, which is interesting. Uh, they can be hurt with a ground pound as Mario, but Yoshi can't ground pound. 
You can jump on them like that, but that doesn't do anything, and licking them doesn't do anything either. So that's, that's an interesting design decision, I guess. Um, here, I don't know if the blocks are still there or if you have to flutter jump over. I can't seem to activate them, but that's might be because they're at an annoying height. down here. Okay, the last one is that one up in the air, and then you have both moons here. So yeah, there's three areas like this, uh, which are just areas with Yoshi and fruits added. There we go. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! They're both very easy, uh, the areas that have Yoshi and fruits added. I don't know why I said both, because there are three of them. Uh, I'll probably do them all in this video because they're all, all very easy and don't take very long. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. They're all very easy. And yeah, I would say they're a bit like purple coins because of the way you're revisiting an area you've already been to and you're gathering a bunch of collectibles all over the area. Um, I suppose the challenging part is having to navigate using Yoshi's skills instead of Mario's because Yoshi doesn't have a cap bounce. Uh, you might remember this one from Mount Vobono. I believe there are some fruits around the back there. Oh, actually the platforms are positioned a little differently too. Cool, you noticed that. Uh, yeah, if, if you, uh, use Luge or Yoshi, uh, then Mario can, uh, continue without a Yoshi, but it's not very helpful. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the intended way to do that is actually to climb up here. I believe, if I can manage to do the jump right. Yeah, as you can see, Yoshi's wall sticking move doesn't really help you gain height, which is a little annoying. And yeah, if you touch the lava, Yoshi just sort of goes away. Mario can bounce on the fruit though, which is kind of funny. Uh, I forget the intended way to do this. It doesn't seem like I can flutter around that far. Um, I'm gonna go the other way for now and just come back to that. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot fewer platforms now to encourage you to use the flutter jump by the looks of things. Uh, I mean, you could have used cap bounces in the original anyway, so it doesn't really make a big difference, but... I believe you can eat these. Yeah, you can. But yeah, you just have to eat every fruit in this area. Uh, if you die, the fruits stay eaten, just like in the Mushroom Kingdom, so... None of these are very difficult. Uh, you just have to eat a bunch of fruit, and it's not hard. Anyway, that's half of them. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! And Yoshi can't take damage from the magma because he just poofs away, so... Yeah, it's not a lot to worry about here. Oops. Uh, I love you. If you lose your Yoshi, like I just did, it's a bit annoying because you can't really get one back very easily. You have to just backtrack to the beginning. Of course, Mario's platforming is good, so not a problem. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god, Mario, please. Um, since there's a life apart just outside, I think it's not cheating to just give myself this one to save, save some time. Uh, I would otherwise have just gone outside and gotten it, but that wouldn't have made any difference if you think about it, because the fruits stay eaten. And he's taken, would have just taken a bit longer. Okay. So yeah, I'm having trouble landing Yoshi on these little platforms. Uh, and not, you know, losing him. Uh, it's not hard to avoid getting hurt, but it's kind of hard to avoid losing your Yoshi. Which is a problem because you need to eat the fruit, and you can't do that without a Yoshi. Alright, um, I believe the last ones are just those over there, so back to the beginning we go. Can I believe that worked? Alright, um, so yeah, we have to actually flutter around the edge here, I believe. Uh, that almost worked. Uh, you can bounce on the fruit, which is hilarious. Uh, get back over to... Over to Yoshi and get another one. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to get around there. In the original version, there are more platforms, so it's actually easier. Uh... 
Yeah, you can see we can't quite get enough height over there. I don't remember how I did this. Uh, I assume the platform needs to be up. We're gonna make it all the way over there because, you know, you have more space to land in without lo losing your Yoshi. Uh, I don't remember having any trouble with this before. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I mean, it's not the crouching that's the problem because, you know, I'm playing as Yoshi, you can't crouch. So it's the same as the normal gameplay, really. Yeah, you can't really double double grab the wall, which is annoying. Uh, are you meant to grab this wall and go from there? Mm, doesn't look like it. <sighs> mm. The Amiibo scanner thing is not very reliable. <laughs> okay, um, maybe we need more. I don't think Yoshi has anything like a double jump. Like, the height doesn't change if you jump twice in quick succession, as you can see. Um... I can't remember what I'm supposed to do here. You also can't capture Yoshi from up here, because capturing warps you to wherever your target is. Um, I don't understand why I'm having so much trouble here. Oh! That's why I'm having trouble. <laughs> Okay, that's easy, actually. <laughs> okay, he's got the invisible block there, then you can just make your way over here with no problem at all. That's hilarious. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay. So that's it for this uh, this area. Uh, we're about 30 minutes. I think I'll do the other area as well. Uh, which you'll probably recognise from earlier in the game, just like these first two. I, I believe these ones are all A-side sub-areas that have been... Yoshified, uh, which kind of makes sense. And the three uh, capless ones are all B-side sub-areas, if I'm remembering correctly, anyway. So you just head down this pipe here uh, to get to the third one, which you may recognize. And you may remember this one frustrated me a while ago because I tried to do it without an uproot. Uh, there are no uproots in this version. You just have to use Yoshi. Uh, it's, not very, it's not very difficult, but it's a little harder than the original with the uproot, basically. Uh, you can't lick these things, you have to make your way around them in order to get the fruits. I believe Yoshi does take damage from those rather than just poofing, so that's helpful. And you get two fruits in one, one like, tongue motion. Yeah, you just take damage. So yeah, this is not very hard. Uh... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, compared to the Mario-only version of this, where you just have to use cap bounces and stuff to climb up, which is very hard. This is not very hard. Oops. Yeah, you can lose the island partway through because you have to stop for all the fruits. Um, but because they stay collected, I'm just going to be able to get the rest on this turn, so... Not a big problem. <laughs> uh, actually, last time I played through, I, I forgot about these two fruits, and I climbed all the way to the top, and it was like, where, where's the last fruit? Um, which was fun. Uh, yeah, you just want to weigh a little bit so that that gets out of your way. It's okay to take a hit or two here. Uh, pretty easy to just pop past everything. As you can see, we're making, making, we're going much faster because we don't have to stop for fruits. And yeah, it ends up being very easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, I think that's probably it for this video. I'm just gonna pop down this pipe here. Uh, if we take a look at what we've done today on the moon list, uh, you can see we've done 
These moons here, these six, uh, you can see below there, here there's ten. These are all the hint arts, which we will be doing. Just not yet. And these six here are the capitalist sub areas, which I'm very, very concerned about because they are all extremely hard. Um, but that's it for this video. I'm going to go cash these in. And then in the next video, probably the hint art will be in the next video uh, because that just involves jumping around to lots of different kingdoms and ground pounding in various spots. And it'll take a while, but it's not hard, so just a bunch of kingdom traveling basically so we just cash in these bam yeah coolios uh so yeah um one capless area is back here uh the other ones there's one uh over near the warp over to the rabbit like over to the big carrot and there's another one down near the uh second sub area that we went to. So yeah, there's three of them, and they have two moons in each, and they're all very, very hard, because unlike the original versions of those areas, which were very easy, and I did them in one try on this run, uh, you have no cappy. So you have to do the same thing without a hat. <laughs> and it's hard. Uh, okay, uh, well, we'll get to that. Um, for the moment, though, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're probably doing the hint art, and then we're going to do those three super hard sub areas. Uh, we will be going back to look at some of the things that we couldn't reach, uh, like those two 2D things in the Mushroom Kingdom. We will be looking into that. Hopefully, there's a way to do it. Uh, but for now, we're going to finish off Dark Side. Uh, I won't go to Darker Side until I'm satisfied that we've done everything else, because I think it should be done last. So, when I'm sure everything that's left besides Darker Side is impossible, we're doing Darker Side, basically. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the easy parts, basically, of Dark Side. Uh, next time, we're doing the Hint Art, which is the other pretty easy part of Dark Side. And then we will probably in another video start on the really hard areas of which there are three <laughs> um so yeah thanks for watching have a great day and uh always change out of the king's outfit into something else as soon as you get it because monarchy sucks thanks for watching